Hey guys, this is Josh here again. This is episode two of the Lay Layout Medic screencast. This is a show where we teach you how to revive the web. Uh, this episode is going to be about uh, installing a web server on your Mac. So um, that's cool. I will say uh, for Windows users, there will be an episode coming on how you can do the same thing. Um, I have a PC with Windows installed, but I'm not sure of some good screen recording software. So actually, if you know of some, uh, let me know, preferably free or if not, you know, really cheap. And uh, I'll put an episode for you, um, Windows users, too, on how you can set this up. But uh, OK, uh, now the reason you'd want this, this is uh, got all the software that runs on a typical web server so if you're working on a WordPress Drupal or Joomla website you can actually install everything right on your own machine and uh, be able to configure it and test it and build themes for it and things like that without having to upload it to a web server so it's very convenient uh, it's a lot faster way of working so you can test things kind of uh, as you go and uh, yeah so uh, let's go ahead and get started the first thing uh, you need to do is um, visit this website. It's uh, mamp.info. And there's uh, two different versions of the software. Basically, what MAMP stands for is uh, Mac, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And these are all the different technologies that work together to make this happen. Apache is going to be your web server. MySQL is uh, what holds all, all your data, like if you're having WordPress, that's where all your posts and stuff get stored. And then PHP is the language that will interpret, um, kind of dynamically take the data from the database and, and uh, turn it into HTML for you to uh, see it through, um, through the web browser. So um, <clears throat> there's two different versions, there's a pro and then there's um, the not pro <laughs> uh, but basically you just click download now and then there's a link right here that uh, will uh, let you download it I've already got it installed so uh, it's about a hundred and thirty megs so it uh, depending on your connection it may take you a few minutes to get it all set up but uh, once you do it uh, just extract the zip file there's a little uh, disk image that you can open and then drag the MAMP folder to your applications directory and once you have that, let's go to our applications and map. So this is the program that kind of does everything. Just double click that. And uh, what it will do is start everything up and then it will open this start page. So if you're seeing this, uh, then you know everything's working really well. The only thing that I generally change is, I don't know if you see this 8888, um, that's a port. A um, little bit hard to explain what ports are, but um, basically you can get it, basically with the configuration the way it is, every web page you build, you'd have to start out with localhost colon 8888. And I don't know, just uh, even even though it's a test, I like to, to um, put it on the regular port which is 80 but you don't see it so uh, you don't have to type in the port because that's the default one but you basically go to preferences then ports and you can just uh, set default Apache and MySQL ports and if you click that and click OK um, basically for security it will ask you for your uh, password uh, as it is right here and then it'll take a minute or two to restart but once it is we can open the start page and you'll see there's no it just looks like a regular uh, URL but okay now that we now that we have that working um, you know everything's uh, going good so what we're gonna do just to uh, kinda show you the benefits of this we're gonna install WordPress so I'm gonna go to wordpress.org uh, download WordPress 2.8.4. Okay. 
I don't think this should take very long to download. It's generally um, pretty, pretty fast. Okay, it's downloaded, so I'm gonna unzip it, and it's we've got a folder called WordPress. So, whoop. so now uh, if you the uh, directory that your files reside in are in that MAMP folder that we talked about. So I'm going to go back to Applications, um, MAMP, and the uh, htdocs folder is what you're going to want to put everything in. As you can see, I've got a few uh, different sites that uh, I'm, I've been working on. So I'm just going to drag, this is uh, the WordPress folder that I uh, downloaded from the site. So I'm just going to drag that. So now, okay, um, I'm just going to type the name of the folder, which uh, you can already see it's kind of working, but uh, we don't have a WordPress configuration file. I'm, let's see if it'll do it for us. Okay, it does make it for us, so I'm going to click Let's Go. Now, um, this is where things get a little bit tricky. It's going to ask you for your um, database username and password, which we actually don't have yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go to localhost slash php, capital M, my, and then admin. And this is the, um, the website that comes with it that lets you manage your databases from the web browser. And so what we first want to do is create a user for the database and then we need to create the actual database. If you're not familiar with databases, um, it's basically like uh, an Excel file for robots. So um, it's got rows and columns and, and tables of all the different data and then you have PHP that's going to go um, ask the database for that data and then uh, spit it out as HTML. So, okay, we're going to go to privileges and I'm going to add a new user and the username, we'll just call that WordPress. It is for the local host. Uh, for the most part, unless your database is on a separate server, uh, you're always going to want to use local host. Um, I'm just going to use WordPress for the password too and um, there's another option create database with the same name and grant all privileges go ahead and do that and that'll create the database all in one step uh, what I usually do um, for the global privileges I think I usually leave all those unchecked let's let's hope I'm right uh, okay so I'm click go and sure enough, it looks like we do have the WordPress. Well, let's see. WordPress. WordPress. There it is. Uh, okay, so we have it. As you can see, no tables found in the database. So we um, there's nothing in there right now. It's just empty. But we have what we need for now. So uh, let's go back over to the WordPress configuration. The database name is WordPress. The username we did as WordPress. And the password was also WordPress. And uh, it assumes we're going to use localhost. That's true. And the table prefix is just um, the naming convention in the database, which we really don't need to worry about um, for now. So I'm just going to submit this. And it says everything looks good with the connection. So run the install I'm gonna my awesome blog and put in my email yeah, we don't need that so I'm gonna install WordPress uh, it's given me my username and password login and there we go. So let's try it. Let's try logging in. I've got the password. Remember me. Okay, so this is uh, 
just uh, it caught me off guard. This must be a new feature. Um, there is a uh, little um, reminder that you're using the password that was generated from uh, the install. So it's not real important to change that if it's on your local machine. If you ever move it to a regular site, then yeah, you will want to change that. Uh, but let's go ahead and just go back to the default uh, WordPress folder, and here you go. My awesome blog, Hello World, is the you know the default post. We can edit it. Um, if I can type. preview changes and there you go it's changed so uh, there you have it that's how you install uh, their web server on your Mac we'll be using that for a lot of the tutorials as we go forward but if you have any questions as always uh, let me know through uh, either Facebook or you can email me thanks